In today's video, I'll show you guys how to create this crazy clean mass transition that literally explodes with color. All done inside of After Effects with no plugins. Perfect for montages, client reels, or if you just want to add way more sauce to your intros like this. Now, before we jump in, if you want to skip all the keyframing and masking and just drag and drop these kind of transitions, I actually made a preset pack called Hyper Warp that I use anytime I need to instantly elevate my edits. Plus some saucy 4K overlays like explosions and particles that make transitions like this this pop. And the best part is they don't require plugins so anybody can use them. So if you want to save a bunch of time and still get results that look professional, I'll leave a link in the description. All right, let me show you how to build this from scratch. So to do this is on our second clip, we want to cut him out, but we want it to be over the first clip. So we want to actually drag our second clip over our first clip. So I'm just gonna put a marker just to stay organized. So we're gonna click and we're gonna hold down Control D to duplicate our video. And we want this cutout to be roughly a second over our second clip. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead about roughly one second, and then we're gonna split and delete. Now, honestly, for organization purposes, we're just gonna simply just change the colors of these so we can kind of stay organized so we know what is going on. So we have our first clip, second clip, and then this will be our cutout layer. So now on your original video, we can actually bring this back to its normal kind of being right here. Now, just for start and end purposes, I'm going to add a marker for the start and then a marker for the end. And now we're going to be cutting out this top layer. So what I usually do is, is I always right click, click new, and then add a null object. And then I split it and clean it up mainly because when you try to cut out something sometimes the footage fps is different than your actual sequence and you always get this frame rate mismatch when you try to cut something out so i always add a null because this is what fixes it and then i highlight the null and the video that i want to cut out and then right click pre-compose and then we're going to name this cutout layer and then just click ok now, because we put the markers, we know where it ends and starts. So we're just going to clean this up again. And then now when we go to cut this out up here with the roto brush and double click, we can actually cut this out without having any, you know, frame rate mismatches, yada, yada. Now inside here, we're simply just going to highlight our subject or object that you want to cut out. And if you're new to After Effects, I actually have a full in-depth tutorial on how to master the roto brush. I will actually leave a link down in the description if you guys want to watch that and then come back to this. But if you're a pro at road brushing, obviously I'm going to just simply add in a quick time lapse real quick. Cue the time lapse. Now, once you're at the end and you made sure that your person or subject is all cut out looks good before we go back to the main composition a quick tip is if you click on this freeze button it'll actually like freeze slash like pre-render every single frame so this will solve every time you try to play it back and there's that green banner of it trying to load every single frame of the cutout just quick tip so once it's done freezing and we go back to our main composition we can actually close this cutout layer and real quick on this cutout layer just because i like to make it colorful i'm going to simply make this pink so we know which layer is which and if we click on this layer and we if we go over here and solo it you'll see now that we just have just the cutout of our subject i think for this case all we're going to do is just put on motion blur because like who doesn't like motion blur right now, if we unsolo this, now if we play this back, you'll see that our subject comes in. And honestly, if you just have, if you just want it like this, this is like a good like level one mass transition. Pretty simple. But I know you're watching this to add that juicy sauce. So I got you. Hold up. Give it to me. Give it to me. Let's add a quick animation in. Is we're gonna click P on our cutout layer, and we're gonna simply put a stopwatch for the position, and we're gonna bring this keyframe to the transition. And then right here, we're simply just gonna do a slide up transition. So on this keyframe, we're simply just gonna bring this down off the screen. And then we're gonna highlight these F9 to easy ease and then go into our graph editor. And then we're gonna right click, click on speed. And then we're going to just copy this. Pretty much all we're doing is just bringing both of them all the way to the left. So it just comes in nice and smooth. Go back out of this, click on motion blur. Cause like I said, who doesn't like motion blur? <laughs> Now, if we play it back, we have this simple just slide up animation like this. Now, from here, obviously, if you think it's too slow or if you want to make it longer, all you have to do is just bring this keyframe over maybe about half the speed so it comes in quicker like that. You can play around with obviously the speed with this keyframe. Personally, I think for now, we're just going to keep it where it is because we want to do the step three. We're going to click on our video two layer and click control D to duplicate it. And then we're going to go up to effects and presets. And this is where we add in the sauce. 
a lot of sauce. So our first one we're gonna type in is turbulence displace. And we're gonna grab that turbulence displace, put it on our second layer. And real quick, just to stay organized, we're going to click on our second one right here that we just duplicated. And then we're gonna rename it to explosion vfx and then we're gonna change the color to orange see look at that our timeline is looking nice and colorful it's sick okay now up inside of turbulence displace we're going to put a stopwatch for the amount on our transition right here we're gonna click u to open up the keyframes and then we want to change this amount to 530 and this will give us this really crazy like warping effect then we're gonna go right before the end and then we're gonna put this to zero now we're gonna go back to the start and then on the size we're gonna do the same thing put a little stopwatch click you twice to open up that keyframe we're gonna put this to 145 and then we're gonna go again to the same position right here put this to zero next we're gonna do the same process with the complexity but this time we're gonna put this to three and then we're gonna go to the end and put this to one. Again, if you wanna see all the keyframes, just keep, keep clicking U and then U again. Now, if we scrub through this, you'll see now we get this really trippy effect that comes in, but we wanna add a little bit more animation to this. So to do this, we're going to put a stopwatch for the evolution, click U twice to open it up. And right here on this number, we're going to change this to two. And then at the end, we're gonna put this to zero. The evolution is pretty much just the animation of it, how much animation. Now just highlight all the end keyframes and click F9 to easy ease. Now that's only one effect. Let me add some more sauce. Next up in effects and presets, we're going to type in optics compensation. We're gonna grab that John and put it onto our same explosion VFX layer. And we're going to change the reverse lens distortion. We're gonna check that box. Opposite compensation is going to give us that crazy warpy effect. So what we're gonna do is on the field of view, put a stopwatch at the start, click U to open it up. We're gonna change this to 160. And obviously from here, you can change how much warp you want to actually see. And then we're gonna to go to the end and put this to zero. Now we're just gonna highlight both of the keyframes and click F9 to easy ease. Now if you play this back in quarter quality, you'll see now that we have a warpy effect to it. And that's not even where the sauce ends. Let me show you the more sauce. Now for the salt and pepper, obviously who doesn't like to change the color of their transitions? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in tritone, find it is inside the color and corrections. We're just gonna grab this, put it on our layer. Now this is where you can change it to any color that you want. I'm gonna go with a blue. So we're gonna click on the midtones and then put this up there and then go find a good blue, which I like kind of like a baby blight, baby blight, like a blue sky kind of blue, click okay. And then right here, we want to click on the stopwatch for blend in original, keep it at zero. And then we're gonna grab that 0%. We're gonna bring it about almost towards the end. So this whole thing is blue. And then right at the end, we're gonna make it fade back to original. So we're gonna put a hundred right there at the end and then highlight both is ease and if you thought the sauce ends there you are wrong because we're going to go up to effects and presets and we're going to type in glow and we're going to add in the glow to the same layer we're going to change the threshold to 20 we're going to change the radius to 300 now we're going to go do the same thing as the tritone so we're going to go to the same first keyframe and we're going to put a stopwatch for the glow intensity and now we're going to turn this down you can turn it down to your liking in our case we're going to do 0.4 Click you twice, to open it, and then go to the end. Then we're gonna put this to zero. Now we're going to highlight these keyframes, easy ease them. And now if you play it back, you have just created this insane cool mass transition. Now, if you want even more sauces, I guess I could show you some more salt and pepper. So like any good transition, we're going to add in some shakes. So obviously you guys can add in your favorite shakes, but obviously right click, click new adjustment layer. And then from here for me, I'm going to, for me, I'm gonna add one of my shakes from my preset pack. Now, if you add a little bit of shake, it adds even more energy to your transitions. And if you guys want shakes or even all my presets like this, you guys can check out my all-in-one bundle that is in the description another thing you can do is you guys can add in some cool explosions behind it now inside of my hyper warp preset pack it comes with super cool spicy extras like these overlays right here that you guys can add to the backgrounds of your cutout layers on top of the explosion to make them even more insane 
So if you want to take this transition even further than this, all you would have to do is you guys can grab these effects. You can grab it, put it above your explosion layer. And if you play it back, you have just created this insane mass explosion transition that you guys can use in your next video. But that pretty much brings us to the end of the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, just make sure you guys drop a like and comment down below what you guys want to see. And I think on that note, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Okay, guess we